Let's take a look at how to build a password generator function in vanilla JavaScript. Let's get into it. All right, what's up everyone? My name is James C. Quick and I do weekly videos on web development related topics. I do a lot with vanilla JavaScript and that's what we're gonna look at today. So we're gonna uh, just work on logic in JavaScript to generate a password based on a few different conditions. And I've actually got up uh, challenge 18 from advent of JavaScript that you can find at adventofjs.com where you'll get uh, 24 challenges. Uh, they started December 1st, but they'll be available whenever you sign up if you decide to, but you'll get 24 challenges for free uh, and this challenge is to create a password generator. Now in this video specifically, we're not gonna do the UI component. We're not gonna work with HTML and CSS. We're just gonna work on logic in JavaScript for generating a password. Now, if you wanna do this fully, you can go and sign up for free at adventofjs.com. Take the challenge yourself. Again, it'll be available whenever you want. If you need help, the challenges, uh, you can get the solutions for them by upgrading and paying for solution video where I do a full walkthrough and then uh, the solution code. But we're just gonna start with working on the logic inside of JavaScript. So a couple of things to note here. Uh, again, we're not working on the front end, but I want to have the ability to let, in theory, a user choose. Do they want to include symbols? Do they want to include numbers? Lowercase letters, uppercase letters. We're gonna skip the exclude just because it makes it a little more tedious. Uh, but we'll focus on the ability to generate a password that respects length, symbols, numbers, lowercase letters, and uppercase letters. So when I was first kind of thinking about how to do this, I was trying to think, how am I going to decide what are the available, what are the characters that are available to me, the computer or the program, as I generate this password? And I decided, why don't I create an array for all the different potential inputs? So an array for the numbers, array for potential symbols, array for lowercase letters and uppercase letters. And then based on the user's choice, combine all the uh, not necessary, all the appropriate ones together into a master array of characters that are available to us as we generate the password. So that's what we're gonna take a shot at now. Now I'm inside of VS Code. I am using Quokka extension. I've got a video on that if you wanna check it out. Uh, that gives me live feedback as I write code. Uh, so inside of this uh, file uh, with Quokka, there's, I'm gonna create a numbers array, and this is probably pretty straightforward. We'll just paste in or type in all the numbers. So one through nine, including zero. And then we'll have a symbols array. Now this is, you could add as many symbols as you want to. I'm just gonna add a few. So there's the at, then we'll have uh, the hashtag for all of my fellow millennials out there. Uh, then uh, we'll add a couple more. So we'll have the dollar sign, and then lastly, we'll have the percentage. So you can add as many to this as you want to. And then I was going to uh, write out all of the letters like this and uh, do an array and do that kind of stuff. I don't wanna type all that, it's really tedious. Uh, this may be a little bit more code, but I think it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna show you a programmatic way to do that inside of JavaScript. So I'm gonna first create a character codes um, array, and this is gonna be array of uh, values that correspond to letters in JavaScript. So if you think about the key code for a character, we're gonna create those uh, for each different letter. Uh, we'll see what that looks like. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take array dot from, and we're gonna say array of 26. Now what this is going to, if I log this out, this is going to create an array of 26 items, each of which is undefined. Now, what we're doing is basically just giving ourselves something that we can iterate through. So because we have this array of that many items, we can map through it. We don't actually care about the element itself, so we can do an underscore for a parameter that we don't care about, but we do wanna reference i. So we're iterating through each item inside of this array of 26 items, which are all undefined. And then we're getting uh, this I, which is basically our index. And then what do we wanna return in the new array? Well, we want to return I plus 97. That seems really random. Uh, so let's look at what this array looks like now. So character codes. If we look at this, just this should be the items 97 or the numbers 97 through 122. So you might be asking yourself, what in the world does that correspond to? Well, those are the key codes for the different uh, lowercase letters A through Z. So uh, we'll say lowercase letters equals character codes dot map. So we'll take each one of those random codes and we'll take it and then we'll convert it to string dot from car code uh, of that code. So what does this give us? Well, now this should give us the uh, lowercase letters. 
So now this should be A through Z. You can't quite see it all, but if I scroll up in the console, we should see it. Uh, and then how do we get the uppercase letters? Well, we can take our lowercase letter. So uh, here's uppercase. We'll take our lowercase, we'll call map, we'll get each letter, and we'll transform that thing to letter.2 uppercase. All right, so now if we log out our uh, uppercase letters, uh, you should see that uh, shown there, cool. So we have, these are all the different uh, potential things that we need. We have our numbers, symbols, lowercase and uppercase letters. So let's go and create our generate password function. And this is going to take in uh, several different parameters. So this is gonna take in a desired length, a has numbers Boolean, has symbols Boolean. You might be able to see where I'm going here. Has uh, lowercase uh, and has upper case uh, boolean so those are all the booleans that we're going to need in here and then based on those i want to build up this array uh, of available characters so we could do like if conditions if has numbers then say available characters uh, and then we could say uh, equals uh, spread out the existing ones and add in the spread of the number, something like that. This is gonna complain because this was a const. We could up, up, update it as a let. And then uh, now we're able to add that stuff in. So we could do that for each one of these, but I found a pretty neat way to conditionally add properties to this array all in line. So we'll open up our new array. And then for each one of these, we'll do dot, 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 and then we'll put something in parentheses. So dot, dot, dot is the spread operator, but what did we wanna spread? Well, let's do a, a ternary and say, if uh, has symbols is true, then what do we wanna do? Well, we actually wanna use the symbols array. If not, we give it an empty array, all right? And then we can just duplicate this a few times and we'll do this for each one. So we'll say has numbers and we'll add in the numbers array. This one will be uppercase letters, has uppercase and then lastly uh, i think is uh i think i did those out of order but it's okay uh lowercase letters we don't need the comma and we don't need this one so now uh let's log out the available characters uh and then we'll need to test this by calling our generate password so let's uh call generate password this is basically going to be our tester we can say length is going to be 12 and then we'll say true 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 four of them i think and if we look at uh this whole thing this is going to be a lot uh but what we should see if we scroll is we've got our lowercase letters we've got our uppercase letters we've got our numbers and then we've got our special characters now if we were to change one of these to say hey uh don't use uh what's the last one uh has uppercase false uh, then if we look back in this new version, we should see there's no uppercase. All right, so see that's working. If we then set uh, the regular characters, lowercase characters to false, this gets much smaller. And if we set the numbers to false, we just get special characters and so on and so on. So it actually works pretty well there. So now that we know what the available characters are for us, let's initiate a password uh, variable here. And then we'll use this accumulator pattern. Um, and one of the things that we need to check first though, is if, uh, if available characters dot length dot length equals zero, then we'll just return an empty string. Now this is, uh, if you're getting this from user input, they may, uh, unselect all of those, which is ridiculous, but, uh, we want to make sure we handle that condition. So, uh, then we'll just iterate through I equals zero, I less than. Uh, what, less than the length of the desired password, and then I++. And for each one of these, we want to generate a random character, which is going to, if I can get my syntax correct, which is going to come from the available characters array. So we need to get a random index, and we can do that with math.floor, you've probably seen this before, of math.random function times the length of our available characters. So we're trying to get a random index that we can use to grab a random character out of the available characters array. So we can say this is our random index and then we wanna take our password and add onto it. So plus equals available characters at that random index index. And at the end of this, we should have a password. 
All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's log out what this gives us back. Uh, if we finish this, and do we have any other logs? Let's not log this one so that we can just see our passwords. So here is our password where we are. What's the first one? We are allowing numbers. We're not allowing special characters. Uh, we're not allowing anything else. And then it should be a length of 12. If I do a length of two, this should shorten now. Okay, so looking good. Uh, if I were to disable uh, everything, we should get an empty string. Okay. And if I were to enable this one, this is special characters. So there's special characters, lowercase, true. Uh, there we go. Cool. Uppercase, true. Uh, if I were to get rid of lowercase and set that to false, all of these should be uppercase. Cool. Uh, and then if we add all of them, so true, true, and true, we should have everything available to us. Uh, characters, uh, lowercase letters, uppercase letters, numbers, and special characters. So this was my, uh, this was my uh, kind of quick JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript version of generating a password. If you want to participate in the actual challenge and see the full details of what to build out here, you can sign up for free at Advent of JavaScript. You'll have access to these forever. It's a great way to practice your JavaScript skills and challenge yourself. If you get stuck, you want help. One, we have the Learn, Build, Teach Discord that you can get to from learnbuildteach.com. And then we also have the uh, solution video and code that you can upgrade to if you're interested. Anyway, let me know if you enjoyed uh, this quick little JavaScript challenge. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments below if you enjoy it. Thanks as always for checking out the video and I will catch you next time.